In this video, you're going to see how to transform a drum kit into any color and finish of wrap film that you want using tools and color change film from our vinyl. The first step is to order your tools and material, and these are the ones you need. Glove, squeegee and buffer, rapid prep for cleaning, and knives. The first step is to disassemble the drum kit. Always make sure you pull off each drum separately, then dismantle each drum in terms of taking off all the hardware. This does require a bit of time, but it'll make the wrapping process much, much easier. And a very good tip is to lay all the pieces out in a very clear order or take a video of the process so the reassembly will be easy and straightforward. And note that many pieces are held on by bolts and screws, so using a cordless drill will help speed up the disassembly process. And here's a shot of the final result, and as you can see with all the hardware off, this drum kit will now be very easy and straightforward to wrap. The first step is to take the film out of the package. Note that inside the package, there's going to be a voucher from our vinyl, as well as a quick reference guide for the install that corresponds with this video. And for the wrap film, once you take it out of the package, take it to a clean workspace table and lay it flat so it can relax before install. And now it's time to clean the drum and it's best to use rapid prep. Spray Rapid Prep directly on a microfiber towel. Avoid spraying it directly on the drum kit because often they're wood and they can absorb the moisture and it'll take a long time to dry, which can affect how the material holds. And the final step of cleaning is to wipe down the workspace table to remove any specks of dust so it doesn't get underneath the film during the install. And note that most drum kits have a built-in seam that comes from the manufacturer. This is the starting point. So take the color change film from our vinyl and match the edge of the film to the edge on the drum. Always try to make sure there's enough material on the top and bottom so when it's wrapped around there's enough film that covers the edge. Pull the material away from the liner, roughly three to four inches, then tuck the liner underneath the film. Crease it so it lays flat, then carefully pick the film up and line the edge of the wrap film up to the edge on the drum. Once this is aligned perfectly straight, it means that the panel will go straight across the drum during the install as well. Lock it in with a nice squeegee stroke, top to bottom. Now, it's very important to follow these steps. Pull the liner roughly three to four inches and with the free hand, pull down the middle till the material has no wrinkles. This is what's called creating glass. Work in increments. Avoid pulling off the entire liner as this can make wrapping the drum kit very difficult. Rotate the drum. Pull down with the liner on, squeegee back and forth. Repeat this process until you get to the other side. Rotate the drum on the table to make this process easy and straightforward. And as you can see, once you get the rhythm, wrapping the drum will be very easy and straightforward. Once at the end, remove the excess liner and then tuck the film into the edge where you started. And with a very sharp knife, with the blade slightly angled towards the edge, cut off the excess film. Essentially, you're creating a butt joint of the film. This will hold very strongly because there's no tension in the film. Now it's time to cut off the excess film on the top and bottom. And the trick is to push the drum in one direction and cut in the opposite direction. And this is why it's very important to have a clean workspace table so you don't scratch or damage what was just wrapped on the drum. Once one side is removed, carefully remove the excess film. Then take a few seconds to rotate the drum so it's in a comfortable cutting position and always double and triple check the edge to make sure it's 100% set up and uniform, then start the cutting process. If the edge is not 100% set up, the cut might be crooked. Remove the excess film, just like the other side, and now it's time to cut out the holes for the hardware. Make sure that the blade angle slightly angles out and do a 360 loop around. The edge of the blade should stay parallel to the edge around the hole. A good tip is to always press down first so the film is nice and secure to the edge, and then simply just repeat the process, always making sure the excess film was immediately on a finger or in the trash so the workspace stays clean. And note for the smaller holes, these don't need to be cut out ahead of time as the hardware will poke through it easily. And with one drum done, now it's time to tackle all the others. And the wrapping process is exactly the same. And note for the smaller drums, the squeegeeing process is in many ways easier as the width of the squeegee is the width of the drum. Then cut off the excess film on top and bottom in the same way, as well as cut out all the holes. 
And so, with all the drums wrapped, it's now time to put the hardware back on and make it a drum kit. Always be extra careful when reinstalling the hardware to make sure you don't damage the wrap. Also, make sure you don't tighten the bolts and screws overly hard, as this can maybe twist the vinyl underneath. So be super focused during this process. Once all the hardware is back on, simply just reassemble each drum, and then wipe everything down to remove any handprints to make it all shiny and new. And here's a shot of the final results. And as you can see, with a very methodical approach in terms of taking off the hardware, and great tips and tricks in terms of install that come from the Rap Institute, you can dramatically transform and customize your drum kit using great tools and material that come from our vinyl. And this of course means that you are a double threat. Not only can you rock and roll, but now you can rap and roll.